When we first encounter our friend on moving day, he is unable to push the piano into the truck on his own. He simply doesn't have the strength. The piano is not only too heavy to lift up, it is also too heavy to push up the ramp. Maybe he could invite some friends. That worked. But what if he had no friends to help? Would a longer ramp help? It does. How is this possible? Why does a longer ramp help? Well, a ramp is an example of a simple machine. It provides what is known as mechanical advantage, a leveraging of his applied force. The more shallow the ramp, the less force he needs to apply to move the piano. Isn't this cheating in some way? Does he really get something for nothing? No. Notice that when the ramp is longer, he has to push a greater distance. In fact, any ramp requires you to push a greater distance than just lifting straight up. The graph at left shows you how much force it would require to lift the piano straight up. The vertical axis is the weight of the piano. The horizontal axis is the height of the truck bed. The graph forms a rectangle. This rectangle represents the amount of work it would take to lift the piano straight up. This work equals the change in gravitational potential energy of the system formed by the earth and the piano when they are pulled away from one another. Here, we see the force applied by our friend. Notice that the force is much less than that which would be required to lift the piano straight up. That's a good thing. However, the distance he has to push is much greater than if he were lifting straight up. The area bounded by this rectangle is the work done in pushing the piano up the ramp. If this work equals that required in the left-hand graph, the piano goes in. The basic idea here is that simple machines, like levers and pulleys and ramps, allow you to leverage your force. You can apply a greater force with a machine than without it, but you don't get something for nothing. The amount of energy you expend, the work you do, stays the same no matter what. You don't get something for nothing. Sure, you applied less force, but you did so over a greater distance. You expended the same amount of energy even if it felt easier. Sometimes it can be fun to think about measuring the amount of work we do as the number of sandwiches we'd have to eat when we're done. After all, we eat sandwiches for energy, right? So one way of thinking of this is that lifting the piano straight up to the truck bed without a ramp would equal one bite of a sandwich. Well, using a long ramp with less force but more distance would equal the same single bite of a sandwich. You don't get something for nothing. Energy is always conserved.